and welcome back to you Regina 120. I am Jeff Cliff and this is a series of 120 videos of things that I learned as part of a Bachelor of Computer Science at the University of Regina. And today we're going to be talking about another one of those kind of broad uh, life advice things that you should be told as a first year university student very early on and if you're not being told this you know seek someone out and see if you can be told this because it's a very important lesson uh, you know as per the last video you know a lot of the value of the university system comes in the fact that you're not necessarily just learning say 120 things which you could do on this video series or you're not learning say for example math uh, which you could get uh, most of which at this point from Khan Academy, uh, the university textbooks, uh, possibly on the Pirate Bay, uh, or you know little bits and pieces of knowledge that you could get uh, in principle at the university. Absolutely that's part of it and that's a big part of it and that's an extremely valuable part of it. Uh, but it's not the whole picture uh, and it's certainly not the only thing that's valuable that you'll encounter at the university probably the most valuable part is the very social interactions that you'll have with the other people who are participating in the ritual of organized learning and organized education on an industrial scale uh, on the scale of a university. I mean, I don't necessarily remember everyone that I met at the Philosophy Student Society at the Ad Hum Pit in the Ad Hum Building, but their um, impression on me is lasting and if for no other reason that they knew to invite me to their paper presentations and I would still remember to this day some of those presentations and their kind of what they were trying to do with them and their you know the, even if, if they were never published anywhere those kind of organized attempts at uh, bringing new knowledge into play uh, kind of banging heads together at the student level so that they would be ready to be, you know present the same paper in a slightly modified and clarified form to kind of a higher level, you know, we got the first draft. We got to see the things that people were coming up with before. As a first year student, I got to, you know, argue with the fourth year philosophy students and confuse the hell out of them sometimes. And it was, you know, it was fun. And it was not just fun, but it was valuable because there was a lot of learning that happened at that level that you just couldn't replicate any other way. And that's just one example, one thing. Another example is the double blind Coke, you know, versus Pepsi experiment that just came out of nowhere. When, because of an argument, go see the last video about arguments between people, uh, where it, you know an argument came out. It's like, could you tell the difference between Coke and Pepsi? Well, you know, some people said yes, some people said no. What did we do? We tested it. We brought science into the picture. But regardless, it's it's not the important part. It's not the science part. The important part is not the the argument part. The important part is that there was a background of social connections, of social contests, which that could develop from. It could develop in a whole bunch of different directions. It doesn't even have to be in the sciences. It could be in the arts, you know? There's, well, you know, even going back to the, you know, what I was doing before university, the artist circle that I was a part of, that, if I was able to get into university with it, would have easily allowed more kinds of art than I was capable of making at, you know, before the university level. You go to the art department in any university, you will see people working on things together with other students and you know bouncing ideas off of each other and having fun and whatever but the, again the important part is that things are possible to do that you would be impossible to predict uh, if you didn't know that you would run into the people that you would run in with to at university i mean i was probably grappling with some of the problems of the fourth year university students at least in conversation at the first year had I completely ignored that aspect of university, I would have just been doing the first year stuff in the first year. I mean, this is something I've been used to my whole educational career, is kind of tackling the stuff years ahead, years ahead so that when I get to it, it was kind of a breeze and I could just kind of walk through it. Uh, it didn't always work that way, but in many cases it did, and it was really valuable that I was able to do that. Uh, again, so don't just lock yourself into a room and play video games. I mean, video games are great, and it's great to play them, you know, it, it improves your agility, it improves your strategic thinking, it improves, you know, all sorts of things. And you can play them with other people, that's fine too. But if you intend on just you know, locking yourself in the room and not being social, and if you're not interested in that entire aspect of life, university may not be for you. You may have other things that you can do with your life that are valuable, and there's nothing wrong with that. But you probably want to get out a little bit 
to interact with people a little bit more than you were probably anticipating on doing so uh, at the university. Does this mean that you have to go, you know, drink out of you know red beer cups and uh, you know play beer pong and you know sing stupid drinking songs? No, of course not. Sometimes that may happen, but you know the, the things that are going to develop, you're still going to have the choice. Go back to the horrible, horrible freedom video as far as how the choice and peer pressure can be kind of very uncomfortable sometimes. But you're, you're still going to have different kinds of things develop. Different options are going to present themselves that I could not possibly describe in a 15 minute or whatever video. I mean, stuff like uh, bringing refugees into a country. You, you can find a group like the WSC where uh, we, you know, the year before uh, I joined them, they, they literally brought a, a refugee from Korea into Canada so that they could actually have a life on their own. That was something that was possible because a group of students got together and thought it was a good idea to do it. You know, protests. Uh, protests are a great way to interact with people. Uh, and there are plenty of causes worth protesting, believe me. Uh, and there's all sorts of things that can, can come out of the university. Start a business. There are other people who are looking for money, who are really desperate for <laughs> paying their student loans and their tuition off. And if you come up with a decent idea of how to make money with them, sometimes they'll go for it. It's awesome. And so, yes, you, you can focus just on your school. You can focus just on getting those grades. Go back to the grades video for reasons why that might be a good idea. But on the flip side, there's also the other aspect. There's the people involved that you can't predict. You can't, there, there is no description of how much value and what kind of value you're going to get other than, you know, keep a little bit of that 10% flex time available uh, so that you can interact with them, so that you can participate in the social culture of your university, so that you can participate in the student body that will generate all these opportunities that you couldn't possibly enumerate, even if you tried. Do not underestimate this factor. Uh, don't just go to university to get a degree and get a job, ignoring this aspect. Because first of all, you'll have a hard time getting a job. That's right off the bat. It's way easier to get a job if you have the, the, the networking and the social inroads necessary to know what's out there and that when there's opportunity available that people will come to you with the good jobs. That makes it so, so much easier than standing in line in places like SAS jobs or the government uh, job bank. Uh, yes, you can get jobs through there, but the better jobs are available through the networks of people that, again, sometimes even filter the wrong people out. Go to the Great White Combine video. Those networks absolutely are perfect, but they still exist, and they're worth considering. And if you're a student, it's worth encountering people and banging your head against those people and, you know, making friends, finding lovers, doing things with people, uh, having classmates that you know are, are there and kind of who they are, uh, and, you know, as, as per the curiosity video, uh, and the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, I'm blanking on the last video. R regardless, it, the, the, uh, you, you want to interact with the other people who are sharing the path that you are taking, because sometimes they will see things on that path that you won't be able to see. Here's an example of where this sort of thing is important. Quote, this technique of studying a book or other printed matter is known as SQ3R. That's an acronym for the steps you need to take. Survey, scan the table of contents and chapter summaries for an overview. Question, note any questions that you have. Read, read in its entirety. Recite, summarize, take notes, and put in your own words. Review, reread, expand notes, and discuss with colleagues. That's from a Derek Sivers review of a book. Uh, again, go check out Derek Sivers. He's a cool guy. But the, the point here is is that this SQR or 3R includes discussing with colleagues, which you will not have if you don't bring get some colleagues at your university. It's great if you can keep the friends that you had in you know, before you went to university, and if you can keep the, the your social contacts that you kind of grew up with or that you've had for a long, long time. Keep them in your life. Awesome. But if you're going to go to university, see if you can get some contacts as who are your classmates. See, you won't be able to get all of them. Uh, I mean, everyone's nearby their Dunbar number half the time anyway, especially in the age of Facebook and cell phones where everyone's kind of staring at a screen all the goddamn time. You know, you, it's, it's very difficult sometimes to get to interact with people, uh, but at the same time, there's going to be apps and s digital spaces that you can interact with fellow students, and other people are going to want to interact with people as well. 
So you, there are going to be chances for you to interact with people. Join your local student society of whatever major they're, you're taking. If nobody has a student society for the major that you're taking, make one. Make a space for them on campus if you can. Uh, if there's nothing available, join a hackerspace and then bring some of the students from your university to the hackerspace. Ha you know, be social, even if you're not naturally social. I don't personally find myself to be a naturally social person. Uh, I was, you know, one of the you know, geeky introverts guys who didn't really talk to anyone. And so it, it took a lot of doing to get out of a, 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 you know, my, my shell to some extent. But th it was really valuable, especially in the early, you know, first year or so, to do so. And I'm glad that when I was a first year, someone told me to do this. One of my professors kind of said, you know, if you're in this class and you're overbooked, you drop the class and get involved with student politics because it would be much more valuable. You'll learn English more, uh, going back to the last video, uh, if you're actually interacting and being corrected by grammar Nazis all the goddamn time, than if you weren't. And so, uh, if you're interested in, in learning the language, if you're interested in learning the keywords, if you're interested in learning the concepts of your degree, get people in your life who are also learning those concepts and are willing to correct you, who you are willing to be wrong in front of, and who are you willing to learn to trust as part of your life as a student at university. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, how to do this and how to encounter people, perhaps how to get a girlfriend or something stupid like that, uh, feel free to ask them anywhere where this video is posted. Uh, and as usual, you can find my att feeble attempts to be social by sending Bitcoin to this address. And uh, as usual, we will see you in the next video.